believe it, brother. Oh, yeah, brother. I can't believe it. Cocktober. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jay the Sting right here again. Got another Cocktober review. This is going to be Where the Buffalo Roam from 1980. This film was recommended by Jalo Madman. Another great recommendation, man. I really appreciate it. I'd actually never seen this movie before. It's the first time I ever watched it. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Fear and Loathing, you know, in the first place. Unfortunately, I saw that film first. So the whole time I was watching this film, I was kind of comparing that to Fear and Loathing. And they're, they're really similar. They really parallel each other. I got, you know, similar characters. And I think, uh, well, the film stars uh, Bill Murray as a Hunter S. Thompson and Peter Boyle as Laszlo it's directed by Art Linson and uh, basically this is uh, a semi-biographical movie about Hunter Thompson you know that's Bill Murray and he's going out to cover both the uh, Super Bowl and the 1972 presidential election at the same time which you know it, the, the plot is just out there and crazy, but, uh, you know, it's about uh, Hunter Thompson doing this thing, basically, and, you know, in the process, he he, uh, he steals a, a press card from this guy on the airplane, you know, a fellow reporter is going to cover the, uh, the presidential election, and he steals his press card so he can get in, and, but he gets this guy, really, like, really fucked up on the plane, he... The guy's kind of like nervous to fly, so he gives him some some sort of pills, probably like barbiturates or something, and uh, um, quaaludes or something, probably whatever they had back in the day that was strong as hell. And the guy gets just blasted, you know, and he's you know eventually just smoking weed in the bathroom on the plane. By by the time the plane lands, so uh, he he steals his press card and go does it, goes and does his thing. But his lawyer uh, is played by Peter Boyle. His name is Laszlo. And you never really know if he's real, you know, in the whole movie. And he's, Laszlo's just out there. And, uh, you know, you never really know if he's real or not. And that's that's intentional. Um, but, you know, he's just getting blown on whatever, you know, substance he can find the whole movie anyway. So, but, uh, yeah, that, that's, you know, a basic breakdown of the plot. It's, it's out there. It's hard to describe anyway, but... Um, yeah, I enjoyed the film. I, I, I'm not crazy about it. I did like it more than Fear and Loathing. And I think uh, Bill Murray did a much better job than Johnny Depp did playing Thompson. Um, yeah, I just think uh, Johnny Depp was a little too far out there. I think I think uh, Bill Murray downplayed it a little bit more and was a little bit more spot on. Just because, you know, I don't know. I think he captured the mannerisms a little bit better. But, um, yeah, from what I understand, uh, Bill Murray actually went out and spent a good bit of time with, uh, with Hunter S. Thompson during the making of this movie, you know, to get everything down so he could, you know, kind of imitate him a little better. So I can imagine huge piles of cocaine were consumed during that period of time. And, you know, they shot lots of guns and got really fucked up together, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, you know, entertaining flick, I, you know, recommended it. If you're a fan of Hunter S. Thompson's writing or, you know, a fan of Bill Murray, definitely check it out. But, yeah, thanks for the recommendation, man. I appreciate it. Thanks.